A story that WBTV has been covering closely for the past few weeks. Thank you so much for seeing with us here on WBTV. I'm John Carter and tonight there's an update on the situation involving several students and a bus driver from Moan Salisbury schools getting sick and having to go to the hospital on two consecutive school days. At WBTV's David Wissens on your side and live in Rowan County where he is getting answers from school leaders. And uh, David, uh, my understanding is they still can't determine exactly what caused this. Is that right? John, that is exactly what they told me today. They say they even brought in state inspectors. They looked at both of those buses and they say as of now they are still not able to determine the cause. At this point, we feel like we have conducted a full investigation that is within our abilities. That investigation began Friday, March 24th, when bus 372 from Hanford Dole Elementary made its usual stop at the Miller's Ferry Fire Department. Eight students and the bus driver were sick. Firefighters had to carry at least one student from the bus, and they said the students had elevated carbon monoxide levels. CO readings were not normal but they weren't con considerably high. All were treated and released that night from the hospital. Over the weekend, they was fine. They wasn't sick. They didn't get sick, thank God. And then on Monday, it happened again. Monday, March 27th, bus 315. A different bus, the same route. Two students sent to the hospital, treated and released after saying they felt sick. That was enough for Mother Heather Newby. I took my kids off the bus. I won't let them be back on the bus. They're car riders now. Today's school leaders gave us an update. We have had uh, nine DPI certified inspectors come and check out both of our buses. They conducted all kinds of safety inspections, including checking for carbon monoxide, both on the bus, on the perimeter of the bus, and they've run the bus route to test while, while running. And we have come to no conclusion as to cause for why the students were ill. School officials also said environmental factors may have contributed to the students feeling sick. We've got allergy issues that, that can make students not feel well. Um, sitting at the back of a bus, which is I think where the students were on that, that March 24th date, sitting on the back of the bus can also make people not feel well. School officials also told me today they said there have not been any cases of sickness reported to them since that second date, that Monday, March 27th. And they also tell me that bus 372 and bus 315 were kept out of service as a precaution, and they have not been put back on the road, not yet anyway. Reporting live in Rowan County, David Wisnant, WBTV, on your side. All right, David, let's hope maybe one day they'll be able to pinpoint exactly what happened. Thank you so much. Well, live at 5, Gaston.